One last one. Look at Philippians. You're in Romans. Keep going to the right to Philippians 2. And by the way, I said I collect these. I could go on and on. I have a whole collection of these because as I read through the Bible, I ask the Lord, what counts forever? And here's a beautiful one that Paul has in Philippians 2.17. He says, Philippians 2.17 I am being poured out as a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith, and I am glad and rejoice with you all. What's he saying? He's saying his service for Christ's church was a drink offering. What's a drink offering? We're so far removed from Jewish life. A drink offering was when the priest would take what they brought in, their, their wine, and they would take it and they would pour it out. And where was the tabernacle? It was out in the sand. And they would pour it out. And when you put a liquid in the Sinai Desert, that sand goes, it's gone. I mean, you couldn't dig fast enough to get it. It's gone. And what Paul said is, my strength, my life, my breath, I'm pouring out in the service of Christ's church. And it's gone. It's irrecoverable. I can't get it back. Are you pouring out what you cannot keep to Christ if so you can't lose it now think of some things each time you serve in your heart if you serve in a classroom look up and say Lord I'm irretrievably pouring out this time for you you serve in the nursery say walk in they'll think you're looking at the stained tiles you know up on the, where the water used to leak and you look up and you say no I'm not looking at that saying, Lord, I'm irretrievably pouring out this time to you that I serve. You serve Wednesday night with the masses of kids in Awana. When you walk into your post, your listening post, or your room, and you're setting it up, pause for a second. And you'll get a thrill in your heart. You know what happens? We don't, we just kind of do stuff. And we don't stop. I say, Lord, I'm offering this time to you. I'm giving you this time. Down in the, the, the choir room or, or off, I mean, wherever you serve, in your, where you teach or in outreach or whatever, and say, I'm offering, I'm giving this time to you. I can't keep it. I could selfishly squander it, but instead I give it to you as an act of devotion and worship. And that's what Paul said. Look at verse 17. I am being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service of your faith. And I am glad. You can do that when you give. Yeah, my poor usher always takes a millisecond longer over on this side because when I see that bag coming, I reach in, pull out my check, and in that moment I'm holding it and I say, Lord, I'm giving this to you. Now, yes, it's going in that little, you know, soft velvet bag with those handles, and I know it, you know. And I know there's going to be some men somewhere that are going to be separating and flattening them and someone's going to type it all in. But I didn't give it to the, to the machine. I didn't give it to the organization. I didn't give it to the... Uh, did you all just get your little sheet in the mail, you know, that shows all your gifts? No, no, no. I gave it to Christ. And you can, you can make each gift of your time in that room or on that ministry or in that rehearsal or in that that service work or pick up day and clean up day or whatever offering you can say i am look at this i am pouring out like a drink offering i'm giving something that i could grasp to and hold on to my time or my my treasures and i'm giving it to you i'm pouring it out irretrievably for you that's just a few our gifts can be fragrant worship offerings. Our worship can be a praise offering. Our deeds can be spiritual sacrifices. Our prayers can be incense. Think about the moment when you're going to stand and you're going to hear that sound of those angels as they start saying, Holy! And as you hear that, you start feeling yourself falling down and casting what you were in this life for Jesus Christ. What you did by his grace, what you denied of yourself and irretrievably offered to him, your time, your treasures, your devotion, prayers, sacrificial ministry in others' lives, you're going to be casting that before him. I don't know how he's going to get them back to us, but we're going to hear the call again we're going to cast it again.